statistics. Well, my name is Henry Hoft. I'm from the Netherlands. Uh, started kickboxing and karate when I was very, very young. Uh, when I was 13 or 14. Uh, when I was 15, I did my first fight in kickboxing. Um, and that was in 1985, so that's a long, long time ago. 38 years doing this shit. Uh, yeah, I've been kickboxing, have a lot of professional fights, uh, big career. Um, and in uh, 2006, when I retired, I started doing more into training. They say coaching here, but I say training here. I uh, had a lot of uh, successful kickboxing fighters. Uh, I trained, of course, with Peter Arts and Esther Host. Uh, and I trained Tyrone Spong and uh, many, many more. Robin Feroz, my very good kickboxers. In 2011, the, I got an opportunity to come over here to work with Rashad Evans together with Tyrone. And yeah, when I came here, at that moment I was 40 years old. Uh, I kind of liked it. People made me a good offer. Started training at that time. The, the team was called the Black Zillions with Anthony Johnson, Rashad Evans, Michael Johnson, Kamaru Usman was already here. So it was really cool, cool. We had a small group, but uh, very successful too. We built that thing like crazy. Uh, so I stayed since 2011, and from there on, in 2017, I went on my own. Uh, Greg Jones came with me. Uh, later on, Robbie followed, Kami, and, and, and then I partnered up with Dave Martin, who is my partner, my partner here in the gym, and also a manager from a lot of other fighters. And the team started growing into something that's very, very special. And uh, from there on, it was Sanford MMA, and then uh, in 2022 we switched our name. We sold our name, naming rights to Killcliff, the energy drink. So now we're Killcliff FC, so we kind of uh, changed the game a little bit. We're the first MMA team that's officially sponsored by, uh, by a corporate company, so that's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, now we have uh, in total around 62 fighters, around 25, 26 people in the UFC, around 11 in Bellator, one FC champion, Bellator champion, we already had the, of course, Kamaru Usman, UFC champion, so we did some great work, but we just really started since 2017, so that's not even six years now, so we're doing good. Amazing, amazing, and definitely, I think you've definitely built a, a special place here. Um, in, in, your, in your own words, what, what makes this facility unique, you know, special? I think there's only really one word, and that's like culture, you know? I think totally. And the vibes, everything is cool. We have, uh, at one day, we counted 33 uh, different nationalities on the mat. Wow. 33 from the 60 people. So, uh, we have Catholics, Christians, Muslims, Buddhas, B Buddhists. We have all kinds of different religions, different kind of people with different kind of languages, but we all do the same thing and we all train together. We don't train separately. Um, we all try to learn from each other culture. So that's really cool about this gym. Everybody trains with everybody. Uh, we don't have like single groups like Russians, there, Brazilians. That not we. Everybody yeah, trains together. Um, I think we have good rules. We have a. Uh, it's it's good. It's important that everybody knows the rules. Uh, mandatory trainings in the mornings, in the evenings. Technical trainings. Uh, everybody follows the program. And when we're on the mat, we're we're business partners. Everybody, every fighter is a business partner. Also, we have to know that we all need each other to get to a certain kind of goal. So the healthy competition. And in the meantime, learn from each other's cultures. I think, uh, like, that's why I say I'm not a coach, I'm a trainer. I train people uh, fighting skills, but I also want to learn them. I'm 54 years old now. I want to learn them what I learned in Asia and in the Netherlands, everywhere I fought. And uh, I think it connects. And, of course, my partners, like Greg and everybody, it's the same thing with the same mentality. Uh, yeah, and the vibes. And, of course, we also have the best music in every uh, gym <laughs> in the world. Yes. Our vibes, our music, our tunes, and that's especially because I'm Dutch. We know our tunes, so that's also another thing. No, this is joking. But anyways, I think the culture is good. We, we know what we're doing. We're not looking at other people, other gyms. We don't have any competition. We're just doing our thing and trying to uh, do something special for our guys and for ourselves and make sure that, uh, that everybody's noticed. Totally, totally. And I've, I've seen it myself, you know, language barriers and still practicing, training hard, hard rounds. Um, yeah. So amazing. And, and definitely the house music playing in the background makes for a positive so environment as yeah. well. So uh, my final question for you is uh, for Kevin Pease. Uh, what, what do you think is, is special about Kevin Pease? What do, you, what do you see for him in his career? I think, I think he's one of the, he, I mean, everybody here is special. I mean, everybody's special. You, me, everybody's special. But I think Kevin is, uh, what I really like about him, he's a, yeah, he's a very quiet, uh, and very, uh, very easily uh, train, trainable student, you know. 
he listens. Of course, he has a wrestling background, so they learn that there. But um, yeah, he likes the, uh, what I like, and I said it to everybody. It's very important to be a student when you're here because there's a lot of people already very high level. If you come here, and you just don't want to learn anymore, or don't want to listen anymore. Then what are you doing here? Really? But Kevin comes here, head down, works hard, uh, and, and and what also says it all is that a lot of very good fighters that are already at that high level uh, use him a lot as training partner. Mark Chandler, Vicente Luque, all these guys, and the Russians here too, all these guys like to train with him. So he's a good teammate too. And he's developing as a fighter. He's slowly progressing into being a complete MMA fighter, you know, and it takes, it takes time, but he takes the right approach. Uh, but for me, it's very important that, that he's a student, you know, he's a student and he's a good teammate. And from there, from there we grow. You cannot be a teammate, you cannot be a, 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 a training partner too long because then you're going to fight like a training partner but he does the right things and he has his own fight can be switched off people are helping him so yeah for me it's very important he's a very cool guy has a very sweet mother she really is really very that's also important the good family behind you his mother is very very sweet of course he has a baby now so he has something to work for and he, he does it everything he does everything really uh Pretty good. You can see he's raised good. He's a, he's an easy student. So I'm very happy that he's here with us. Amazing, amazing. Well, thank you. It's easy when you tell the truth, right? You don't need to lie. You know. If he was an asshole, I would say it too. But he's a very good guy. <laughs> of course, I appreciate your time today. Thank you.